Cirrhosis is a very interesting setting because it's complicated by bleeding. But uh, in the last few decades, many studies show that may also be complicated by thrombosis in the portal vein circulation. To give you an idea of the, 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 the prevalence of this uh, complication, so let's show you data regarding a registry we performed in my country, in Italy, in which we included uh, more than 700 patients with cirrhosis. The etiology of which was uh, viral in 44% of the case, alcoholic in 25%, and other cause in 31%. The severity of the disease uh, was uh, low in more than 50% of the case, uh, and uh, uh, more severe in 47%. What about uh, portavian thrombosis? Using the Doppler ultrasonography, we show that the prevalence of uh, portavian thrombosis was 70%, with, which means that it is not so rare. And uh, it should be diagnosis, particularly because uh, in more than health case, cirrhosis is, uh, uh, portavian thrombosis is asymptomatic. Other clinical uh, presentation are ascites, gastrointestinal bleeding, and, and, and etc. What about the localization? Localization is uh, prevalent in the portal vein trunk. Multiple sites is in more than 30% of the case. But the message of the study is in more than 90% PVT, portal vein thrombosis, was uh, non-occlusive or incomplete. So what's the behavior of a clinician in case of a PVT presentation? The message for this study is, in, is that in most cases clinicians are not willing to treat with antivagulant because probably they are scared of a bleeding complication. And uh, so these patients are, are left uh, without any therapy. So to address the issue, if anticoagulant may be safe and useful to treat the PVT, we performed a meta-analysis in which we analyzed three issues. The first one was uh, anticoagulant, which were warfarin or low, mo low molecular weight heparin, are effective in uh, recanalizing uh, uh, thrombosis in a portal vein, and the answer is yes. The second, you see the OSA ratio is positive in favor of anticoagulant. The second message is, uh, is anticoagulant uh, useful to reduce progression? And again, the answer is yes. And the third point we uh, look for was, uh, there is any increase in bleeding complication? And the answer was no. Uh, paradoxically, we observe a reduction of varicella bleeding in this uh, meta-analysis. So, what can we conclude from this study? The first conclusion is the limitation. The limitation of the study is the sample size of the meta-analysis is small, so we need more data to support this study, this, uh, this results. Of course, the implication is that anticoagulant may be useful may be useful to reduce the risk of thrombosis and its uh, complication. But the final message that we need to perform randomized cl clinical trial to address uh, this issue in order to support uh, this result, which apparently are good.